All right, so this setup that I've got going on right now, it's been a long time coming, dude. I've had the same, basically, almost, pretty much, not exactly, but like nearly the same setup since like freaking 2018, dude. Like at the start of 2018, I got a secondhand GoPro Hero 4 Black. And uh, yeah, I've been using that camera ever since. Like there's been some different microphone uh, placements and uh, helmets change types of ND filters also the, the like the strength of the ND filters a couple times some settings internal settings but generally the same the same setup so I've been using a camera from uh, I think it came out 2016 up until 2024 it's very good value for money <laughs> so I've been meaning to upgrade but I, uh, I, I wasn't feeling a new GoPro cuz like I have a feeling that my thing from 2016 is more reliable than the newer GoPro Hero 11, 12, uh, freaking 20. I looked at a bunch of reviews and kind of dug into the topic. And this, fundamentally speaking, this, the DJI Action 4, what I'm rocking right now, with an ND16 filter. Also a polarizer filter, so I'm not sure you can see my dash. I spun it a bit, so maybe it's black now, I don't know. This is fundamentally the best camera. It's got the best fundamentals. Because, you know, you get those. You got your Insta360s. You got those 360 cameras. But I think, in my honest opinion, uh, that shit's a gimmick, dude. I don't like the I don't like the, the look of it. I don't like the look of the 360-ness. I think it's very uninspired. I think it's just like a basic... It's just basic bitch Spanish coast tourist. The look of those videos. Like, you're not adding anything. It's just a gimmick. Yeah, it's cool to see it once or twice, but that's it. And the actual quality of the of the image is eh. I don't want none of the AI bullshit and all that, no. Uh, yeah, big ass sensor, bigger than the GoPro 12. And it's reliable, it lasts, supposedly, from what I've tested, it lasted a while. It's got stabilization that I'm uh, not using and that I will not be using. Because, once again, fundamentals. I want to have control of my shutter speed. I want a nice low shutter speed. I don't need the stabilization, dude. My head is a freaking gimbal. So, yeah. I got this uh, freaking thing films in... Uh, the thing films in 10-bit. It's got a D-Log format. The DJI Log format, I think. The, or Drone Log format. Because they make drones sometimes. Yeah, so you can color grade really nice. Not that I'm a color grade specialist or anything, but that's that. It's, got, it's, it's been quite a pain in the ass, to be honest, to get this setup to switch from my old trusted, uh, semi-trusted GoPro Hero 12. Uh, the, the, the mounting wasn't exactly the same. This sits a bit taller, so I had to figure something out for that. So I prototyped a bunch of, uh, um, of mounts, 3D printed that shit. In the end, finally got one that works, so... Now I'm curious about the strength of the PLA of that I that I've done, but so far it hasn't fallen off. So you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> it's an action cam after all; it should survive, you know. So that's um, that's been that's been fun. Messing with that. Then uh, also the editing software. As once again, I haven't the software side. I haven't changed since like forever since I started riding a motorcycle slash scooter I've been using Sony Vegas to edit and color grade and everything what am I gonna do then bro Chalos <laughs> yeah the, the Sony Vegas at least the version that I have doesn't deal with um, with 10 bit footage it just can't deal with it. So, I have downloaded it before, opened it up, and was very intimidated by the differences and also by just the, the interface. I have downloaded, once again, DaVinci Resolve. So, I'm, uh, I'm gonna fuck with that. Use that to edit. So, I'm thinking this video, if, I, if, if it goes online, it's not gonna be much of a, of a crazy edit. It's gonna be cutting. But I wanna get a bit familiar, you know, with the whole interface and the workflow. I already have some LUTs downloaded that I found on the internet that I stole from people. No, I didn't steal, they gave them to me. 
Nou ja, ik ga hier niet op wachten, man. Tjallers. Zo, dat is dat. Nou, het is. Uh... See how the camera works. So I think I took I tested it to when going to work this morning. But I think it reverted back like I have the snapshot, so you press it once and unlike the GoPro it actually starts recording. After being turned off. But I think it reverted back to just regular video, so automatic settings, I believe. Because I have a I have a preset that I've configured for I hope this kind of conditions we're doing an ND16 filter uh, filming at 25 frames a second shutter speed of 1 50th so hopefully we get some nice cinematic -y footage we got uh, 2.7k I used to film at 4k with the GoPro but the bitrate on in this D-Log format is fucking crazy, dude. I got this 256 gig card, and if I film at like maximum settings, it's less than four hours. If I film like at the maximum bit rate. So, we're at 2.7K, filming at 4x3, which I'm gonna either smoosh back to 16x9. So basically do what the GoPro does by default, the, the super view. We're filming at the wide angle, not ultra wide, because that is just ridiculous. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. It's it's way too fisheye and it's not realistic at all. It doesn't give an accurate representation of what I'm seeing, which is what I'm after. Oh fuck! Fuck! Fucking this same corner, dude. Every time. Yeah, 2.7k, 4x3, either crop it or smoosh it back down. To be fair, like I was looking to not having a smoosh down footage because oh, the super view does flatten out the, the, the image quite a lot. And uh, hopefully this, uh, if, if, I don't, if I don't super view it, super view it, we get some nice natural looking Put it. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, mic settings. I got the Sony ECMS mic that I've been using since uh, like prehistoric times. Trapped to a Buya, the 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 number four adapter, and the gain set to minus ten. So the the one thing I think the GoPro does better than the DJI is the how natural the actual audio sounds because. This muffles it a bit too much, it's a bit over-processed, I think. But on the other hand, it does very well with the, reduce, with the, 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 the reduction of wind noise. So, for now, uh, I'm trying out with the gain of minus 10. Yeah, 10-bit, uh, D-Log format. And then there's a lot that you can get from the DJI website. That you can throw over your footage. Get it back to Rec 709, I think. Oh, you fucking Eichel. Come on, dude. Come on, get it, get it. <laughs> People get pissed off at road cyclists, dude. They hate them for no reason. I think it's pretty cool. Dude's going as fast as a car. Come on. He's not in the way or anything. He's very fast. Fast boy. They love me at the golf the golf course, dude. They always like it when they come by. 
<laughs> oh, dude, this is such a stupid ass bike, dude. I love it. Closed off? I don't believe you. It is closed off. And now we're taking down to We're taking a right over here, I believe. And then uh can you understand? And why yeah? That is the Dave. Oh, it's a nice neighborhood. And come to Amal Tuig here I hope the motor up at Pete Spot. Hey cool. So, I got something else that's uh, that's fun. Let me park the, the bicycle right up deze stoep. I can toch niet verder blijkbaar. I don't know where the fuck I've been. I got the Dunlop Mutants. Hmm. They look cool as fuck. <laughs> they look very cool. A lot of confidence. You can see there is a bit of chicken strippage. But we'll get rid of that at one point. But they do give me so much more confidence the freaking Bridgestone. No, not Bridgestone, Michelin. Power 2 CTs that were on it. Not bad tires or anything, but this is really nice. And I am a bitch nowadays, I don't really ride in the rain, but... It still happens that I ride in the rain. And then it's, 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 I feel very confident. The night my boy put them, uh, put them on for me. Your boy moped life. It was raining and it was fine. It was brand new tires raining and still they felt very secure. I have no idea where I am, but um, I also checked the battery life, dude, it's insane. I was filming for 25 minutes and I had 85% left. Holy shit. That's amazing. Where am I going, my guy? Ah, follow the motor. He knows the way. The good old Honda Jazz engine motorcycle uh. I got the heart young I got the heart it is an NC isn't it NC 700 750 you know they changed the speed limit in Amsterdam to uh, 30 kph on like pretty much every road it went from 50 to 30 but they don't enforce it which is also like the thing is I don't mind it going back to 30 very controversial statement I suppose I don't mind it going to 30 but as you see or maybe don't see I don't know how the how the polarizer is set up I'm not going 30 simply because the whole freaking infrastructure the whole design of the road is not meant for 30 you know it's designed for 50 So if you were to go 30 and everybody else is going 50 and it's just dangerous, you know? It's gevaar, eh? It's gevaar, bro. Plus it makes no sense, like, uh, you know? If, uh, if you put, a, if, if the speed limit is 30, make sure the road matches the speed limit. Just my two cents. Like, I would go 30. If the road was supposed to make me go 30, where the shit am I, my guy? Oh yeah, I know where I am. <sighs> Politie, nee toch? Nee, niks aan het handje. Fun times, fun times. Such a stupid ass bike, dude. Dat je naar voren kan nuggeten. Kijk hem hier, ja man. Waarom rij je anders motor? Hey, klink lekker dan. Ja, ja, klaar voor bladje even pakken, maar uh, die bus gaat ook naar rechts. Ja, kijk, ik zei het toch, ik zei het toch, bro, verkeersinzicht als een motherfucking stoplicht. 